Hi, my name is Nick Kovacic. I'm here at the Dixon Company, and today we're going to be talking about your dip switch settings. You'd primarily do this when you first got your unit, or if you were moving from one chart model number to a different chart model number, uh, you may also have to adjust uh, your dip switches. There are three main variables that you need to know when you're setting up your uh, dip switch settings on your chart recorder. The first is the recording period. And uh, our chart recorders have three uh, recording periods, seven day, 24 hour, or uh, 31 day. This particular chart is a 24 hour chart, so we'll wanna make sure that our dip switch setting is set in that particular position. Second is our variable for temperature, whether it's Fahrenheit or in Celsius. Um, this particular chart is Fahrenheit, so we'll wanna make sure that the, our, our setting is in that position. And the third variable is our temperature range. And the chart we have here is a zero to 100 chart. The back of the unit is where the dip switch is actually located. It is the red box. Below that is a label that shows the actual position of the dip switch. So, like I said, the first variable is our recording period. We have a 24-hour chart, so the first position will be down, and the second position will be up. Next is whether or not we're in Fahrenheit or in Celsius. And we're in Fahrenheit, so we'll wanna be down for position number three. For position four, five, and six, like I said, those will be de determined on our recording range. And we have a zero to 100 chart. So we're going to be down, down, down. There is both a 7 and 8 position on the back of your dip switch, but this particular recorder doesn't use those two uh, settings, so just make sure that they are in the down position. Thanks for watching our video today on how to set your dip switch settings. To find more information on this or any of our uh, chart recorders, you can go to online at www.dixondata.com or you can give us a call with one of our friendly customer service folks. We'll be more than happy to walk you through this process. Thanks again for watching.